Acts chapter 14 Believers, believers. Jews and Gentiles became believers. This is not true. They were all believers. They just changed the what of the belief. I got hooked up in one of those multi-level fountain of youth businesses, not the real fountain, and I sold a few people on the product. Mom and Dad came to Toronto and we all went to a three-day conference that was so much like an evangelist meeting. Brother Bob used to be a non-believer. Now he is a millionaire. Don't you want to be one too? Just believe. Jesus laughed. My dad told me most of them would cheer the same way at the next multi-level nonsense. And not long later, the guy that had recruited me to the cause went to the one that was the new one, with electric nail ovens, plastic body wraps, and toothpaste that might have the side effect of growing fur on your teeth. I jest not, but I do laugh. And I do apologize to anyone I push the fountain nonsense onto. The product was not poison, just pointless. Paul did some healing tricks and the crowd believed. Verse 11. The gods have become like men and have come down to be with us. End quote. Why any god in his right mind would want to come down here is beyond me. They called Barabbas Zeus and Paul Hermas. So, being a Jew... Paul tore his clothes, and being not a complete idiot, said, verse 15, Why are you doing this? We ourselves are only human beings like you, End quote. So some Jews cheered on the crowd to stone Paul, then dragged him out of town. But he wasn't dead, and jumped up again and went back into town. Jesus laughed, verse 22, We must pass through many troubles to enter the kingdom of God, End quote.